Okay, uh, we're going to continue now, um, but uh, what I want to show you first before we go on to uh, anything else with the assembly is a neat feature uh, that we have here at Teeter's Telescopes is uh, what we call our truss ring uh, assembly, uh, and that helps uh, make the telescope go together quicker and come apart quicker, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of observing from home or locally, or you're not doing a lot of traveling where you really got to break the telescope down into its smaller components. Uh, if you can deal with essentially from uh, this wooden ring from here up to the top here as one piece and then the lower boxes together um, as their own you know compact pieces here uh, if you can do that then this system actually comes in very handy so what we do is we have this ring and it's held in place by four of these uh, large rubberized knobs right here there's one essentially by each truss block here and if we loosen them, we take them pretty much out. Here what we will see happen is that we'll be able to lift this entire assembly off of the box and keep it together as one solid piece, rather than having to deal with the eight separate truss poles all the time. these should be loose. And then what you can do is you can take one hand here and one hand here and get a firm grip and lift up. Just kind of tilt it a little bit and off it comes. Put that down. So now essentially what you have is this whole section here and this section here. So if you have a large enough vehicle you can actually transport the two, the two pieces of the telescope here as you see them sitting here, uh, which will get you set up and going a lot faster than having to mess with the eight truss poles and all the uh, little thumb screws uh, to lock everything in place. Uh, and we find that it's safe to, say, take this piece and lay it across your back seat in the vehicle. That's fine. No problems there doing that. And then this all the way in the back of the vehicle. So uh, just a little innovative thing here that we do. Uh, that hopefully uh, you'll find some use for uh, in the future.